Alright guys, so here's a uh, model update for April 15th. And I'll go in a little more detail with these models over here that I uh, have been doing lately. Uh, so here's the Valmet 455 Harvester. If I get enough DCM rewards, I'm going to buy another one and uh, customize it. Uh, but I won't say what I am going to do to it until I actually get one. Uh, here's the Universal Hobbies PC210 with the hammer. NZG Lieber A954C in Broadback colors. Conrad Lieber LTC 1055 in Crane Zinc. NZG Volvo EC460 in Boverhoff. Motorart EC700C High Reach. Uh, down here, there's a lot of models packed in the shelf here, but I'll go through a few. Uh, or at least that have important to do at the end of the video. Uh, here's the first gear tag trailer that I'm going to be talking about at the end of the video. It's got the 963 strapped to it. Uh, the Volvo EW160C. That's an NZG model. Uh, I know this is a favorite of a lot of people. The Hitachi 350. And then over here we got the NZG paver. So it's a little beat up. It's missing a few pieces. But uh, I it, I believe it's over 10 years old. Uh, it might be 15 years old, I'm not too sure. Uh, the Crusher, WH470, and some other models. Uh, the AC500 with the Luffing Jib. And uh, there's some custom sorting hooks and chokers that my brother made. You can see that the crimps on the end. Uh, some crane mats right there. PC-1100, LTM-1300, LR-1300, which I actually just reconfigured last night. Added the longer jib with the shorter boom. And I have four parts of line on the hook. 16,000. Uh, this is actually the, the very first 16,000 that my brother owned. Uh, you can see he took the catwalks off it, which I think it makes it look a lot better. It would look better also if you took the undercarriage weights off, but those are too hard to take off. And this one has the, the long reach on it, with four parts on line on 150 ton hook block. That's the NZG hook block. Over here are some trucks, some haulage trucks. Uh, the flatbeds, those are the Freightliner Century classes, the P379, and some more 379s. Uh, this one should be hauling the 3 by 3 by 3 but again, I don't have any room to display it since it's so large. I, will, I think a lot of people forget that I have that model, but uh, I do. It's actually, it's in a box, it's in a box in my closet because it's just, it's so big to display, I, I don't have any room for it. And even if I was to put it here, it would take up too much room. Uh, that's one of my custom loads. Here is, is the CCM Cat 385 with the concrete bucket on it. I, f I put the concrete bucket on it because it, I can imagine myself seeing one with a concrete bucket uh, in a foundation or on a, a, a you know like a civil construction job. I thought it, it looked cooler, especially with, since it has the longer boom and the longer stick than the mass excavator. Uh, there's my Goldhofer 10 line trailer with my custom load on it. I, I saw the video of, of that to upload. I'm going to remake it. Here is one of three NZG Hitachi 1000s. This one's in Van Groningen. Uh, I just usually call it the green one. Here is the CCM Cat 390 DLME, which I think has become my favorite over the 385. I don't know why. I, I just like the way that it looks. I think the shorter boom and stick looks better and the huge bucket. Here's the first gear. US Forestry Granite. I found a place that has more of them. Uh, I don't know how, long, how much longer they'll have them, but I think eventually, maybe in another month, I'll buy another one. Take off the, the US Forestry decals. Because I want to at least have one with the decals still on them. Uh, here's the lever, 954 high rise and OBM. The two Hitachi 1000s, 
uh, the three piece on the high reach of the set of them. I have to get the yellow one, but I doubt I will. Uh, Bauer BG40 and Malcolm. The NZG944 Tunneler. Grove GMK4115. It's holding the pleat girder. Triple five. The Conrad LTR1100. And a bunch of more mobile cranes and trucks up top. I have my 764 dozer. I actually just put that like that yesterday all on the flatbeds on top of each other. Some 335 flatbeds, some pumpers. Uh, those are the mixers, fire trucks, snow blower. I got the pumper coming down since I can't go up with it. Now, uh, I originally mentioned the tag trailer right here because I ordered the red Mac Granite, which is this truck right here, in red with the tag trailer. So uh, you get the, the truck and the tag trailer in one for 85 bucks. I ordered that because at the time I didn't know that another place had the the forestry service ones, but since it came with a tag trailer, I figured I'd order it. And it's a red one too, so I think that's going to be pretty cool. I also ordered uh, the Mac Granite Low Boy. And it has it, it's the granite tractor with the Low Boy. I got that with the yellow tractor and the yellow Low Boy. Uh, I've wanted a Low Boy for a while. I, I believe I spent like 185 bucks on both, including shipping, which I, I could have bought you know some other stuff that I really wanted but uh, I, I think it said they were discontinued or something and I just figured that I'd get them I should have got something else but I'm gonna get those at the end of the month and that's what I wanted to also put at the end of this video uh, usually around midway through the month which is exactly today I decide getting what I'm gonna get at the end of the month and uh, what I want to get uh, I'm definitely gonna get the NZG W100 F coal planer in sat colors which is uh or i don't know if you say it, sat or sat but uh, that's the yellow one i i believe it just came out uh and i'm getting that simply because i just really don't know what else to get and it would look cool on the low boy as well uh and i know it sounds crazy if i don't know what else to get but uh it, it seems like every model that i've wanted i've pretty much have and uh within my price range and uh, that sounds crazy, but I, I really don't know what else to, to buy. Uh, so I'm probably going to get the coal planer. I want to get a Volvo ECR235 by Motor Art. I, I had one of those when it first came out, but uh, that's when I really didn't treat my models that well and didn't have you know a display like I do now for them. So I want to re-get that. I'm actually getting that over the Volvo EC460 bucket version. I, I don't want to get the 460 because it's like I just uh, got one two months ago and it's basically the same thing without the attachment but uh, I might change my mind but I'm definitely going to get the cold planer and the 235. I also want to get a Volvo I believe it's an EC45. It's a little mini excavator mode made by Motor Art. It's the cheapest one they, they have. They have one for like 80 bucks but I'm not going to spend 80 bucks on a mini excavator. Uh, another model that I want to get is the Motor Art Volvo L150E wheel loader. I've wanted that one for like probably two years now and I keep passing it up because I don't really like to buy wheel loader models but I also don't keep wanting to buy all these excavator models because I don't want to build too much of an excavator collection. And another one that I'm definitely going to get is the Komatsu HM250 made by Universal Hobbies, the articulated truck. It isn't exactly something that the 390 or the 385 could load, which are uh, my uh, some of my biggest excavators with buckets. But uh, it looks like a very nice model, and uh, I might actually buy an, a smaller excavator to add on to that list for the HM250 to load. Or I'll buy like two HM250s, or I'll do something. Uh, I still have actually... a 
a nice amount of money to spend onto that. I'm not sure if I'll save it for next month or buy something, buy more stuff this month. Uh, chances are I will be uh, buying more stuff, but I really just haven't decided. It's really hard to decide when you really have everything that you want. I was going to buy more trucks, but uh, I'd rather get models. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll make another video once the low boy and the dump truck with the tag trailer comes. As always, there'll be an unboxing of one of those. And uh, if you want to always stay up to date on what I'm getting, uh, click the link in the description and like it or just visit it, you know, once a week or something like that because I, I always update it. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, gonna have, I'm going to try and go for a lot of models at the end of the month. Uh, and uh, so I know people always ask me this, so I figure I'll put it at the end of the video. I'm not going to get the 385 front shovel. Uh, I don't feel like dropping 250 bucks on it. I really don't have anything for it to load. I'm not into front shovels, and for 250 bucks, I could put it towards other models that I'd rather get. So uh, thanks for watching, and that's pretty much it.